Hi, I'm Nikita. This is, uh, this is to all to God. And of, as always, we will be listening to the sound, sound of the uh, beautiful music for the glory of the Lord. Yeah. your Bible on um, Acts. Uh, we will be reading a special wonderful place today. The Lord was uh, uh, inc uh, influencing and encouraging me to share that uh, word with you. So let's grab our Bibles. And please, uh, when you open your book of Acts, go to chapter 17. I will be reading from 26. For uh, from one man he made every nation of men to settle upon the faith of earth, earth after he determined fixed times in the boundaries of their habitations. So in other words, he says, from one man, from one blood, from Adam, from one man, he made every nation of men and settled them upon the face of earth he, he created me. So from one Adam, was, uh, uh, the humanity, humanity was created. Human beings were created, multiplied and created. And he says, the Lord, and then to settle upon the face of earth after, he deter after God determined fixed times. So everyone, like people we live, like I live in such a time like this. I was born in the, such a time in this era. I was born. That was a fixed time for me to inhabit this earth, yeah? He, it says right here, he determined fixed times and the boundaries of their habitations. So the nations, they have boundaries of their habitations. And from one man, the Lord created Africans, uh, white people, uh, native people, all kinds of nationality, everything, but doesn't matter, even though they have culturals and nation nationalities, but the Lord d d put them all in places in fixed times and uh, he said he put boundaries of their uh, inhabitations. So the Lord just made that, that uh, purposely. Everyone has their own inhabitations. And the Lord put those boundaries for them, for these nations. But it, we all came from Adam, from all creation of humans. We created on his own image. He says, and then this is, this is so important. And God is seeking to find whether they, who oh, human beings, human, whether they would even seek after tokens of him and find him and truly he is not far from any one of us God is not far, far from anyone God is not far from anybody oh, to those who believe in Christ Yeshua who uh, receive uh, his spirit receive and believe in God and in Jesus Christ and he got the redemptive and uh, uh, repented and become a family of God to them God is in us he dwells in us by his spirit to those who, who does not who did not receive Jesus Christ uh, God himself came on earth as a flesh and died and shed his precious blood and through his redemptive blood we become children of God to those the Lord says I am near you I'm very near it he says right here truly he is not far from any of us that's when he's very near yeah not far and then 28 we read for in him we live and move and have our beings. It says, for in Christ Jesus, for in God, in God we live and move and have our beings. My being in, in God, my being, I live in Him, I move in Him, I have my being in Him. It says right here in the Bible. So also some of your uh, own poets have said, what kind of poets have said this is actually this is actually taking from uh, Aratus. His name is Aratus. Aratus. He is a Greek uh, poet 
philosopher and poet and his name is Aratus. You can take a look and then it's uh, the, his poem called Phenomena. Number five, chapter number five. It says, for we are also the offsprings, for we are offsprings of God, he said. He even recognized that. And I am going to just skip and then just go to the, the chapter, the, uh, verse 30. It says, so then, all the God has overlooked a time of ignorance. Now he's ordering people everywhere to repent for everything. Because, why? Why do you need to do that? Because he established a day in which he is going to judge the world in righteousness by a man whom he appointed. When he gave assurance to all the faithful by having raised him out of the, out of, from the dead. So, the, uh, to me, the, the scripture clearly speaks that. It doesn't matter you believe in God, you don't believe in God, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you believe in God, it's great, it's great. You have a future, you have a future for eternity. You have a peace on this earth. You have because Prince of Peace came and earth brought the peace. And this is the, this is the time right now of, uh, of recognizing the peace on earth. The good news, the peace came to earth, and peace on earth, Jesus is here, Emmanuel, God is with us, God is with us. The believers have God within themselves, God dwells in them through the redemptive blood. But to those who don't believe in God, doesn't matter if you believe or not, <laughs> the truth is He is near to you. He is waiting upon you. He says, like, He says, God is seeking to find whether they would even seek after talkings of him. After, if there's something like, is this, this is, must be God. This is, must be God. If you just say that, this must be God. Because some of the consequences in the, uh, some of the coincidences, some of the things that happen in our life, it's, in we, sometimes we surprise and we see like, what? This is a miracle. This is a miracle. But it's not a miracle. It's a God himself is near to you and doesn't perform a miracle to your life every single day. So, you will have a seek, seek after tokens of him and find him because he's, you need to find him because he's near to you. Why do you need to find him? Because there is God says God, the boss of the universe and heavens and everything. He already set this, set this uh, rules and regulations, his own God's rules and regulations. He says, because he established a day in which he is going to judge the world in righteousness in righteousness. The righteousness, Jesus Christ come on this earth, the righteousness, holiness comes to earth himself and to whom he appointed. And Jesus Christ, if you receive Yeshua, if you have a hard time with understanding that just say, I don't understand, I have a hard time, but I do want to seek, I do want to find God and I know I've heard he's near me. He's near me and I want to come. I want to run into God. That's, that, you can say that. That's amazing request from God. So this is amazing uh, scripture. Please ponder on that. Just think about it. Meditate on that. Meditate, that's mean you read it, read over and over. The more you read, the more you get more deep understanding of the word of God. This is the word of God today. And it's uh, declaring the commandments of the Lord. Go and repent so that you will come. Repent on, of everything and you receive your, your grace and mercy from the Lord and live in eternity. Live here on this earth in peace and enter to the, to the Holy of Holiness eternity for your life. So that is amazing. That is amazing scripture. So be blessed. May the Lord bless your uh, this this time of the holidays. May uh, holidays every day with the Lord. So, but it's a special holiday. May the Lord bless you, bring peace and joy into your life, and the glory of the Lord let shine over your life and your family. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.